Um, my opinion of the quality of open education resources is the same as my opinion uh, of the quality of commercial resources and resources produced uh, um, with, a, uh, with a closed license on campus. That is, uh, some of them are uh, very good and some of them are very bad. And uh, I don't believe that uh, uh, the quality issue uh, can be contained uh, in a discussion of open educational resources is uh, whether something is open or not, or whether it's uh, closed and commercial, um, it's not a measurement of quality. Um, the measurement of quality is in the materials themselves. And so open there's no reason why open material uh, would not be as, uh, uh, would not have the quality, uh, nor is there any reason why commercial material would not have quality. Um, but what we see emerging is that uh, particularly with material produced by uh, 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 teachers in classrooms, is that because when they open it, um, they want to make sure that because other people are seeing it now, other than their students in a closed classroom, that they improve on it. Another aspect of openness and quality is that uh, once it's released, many other professors also uh, uh, using it improve it. And so with many different people improving it, uh, uh, it can get better. And another aspect of quality and a very important one uh, for teachers and uh, teachers, whether online or offline, uh, 